Bomb resistant? Bomb resistant. They were a low grade, cheaper version, Humvees. As Mr. Rumsfeld said, you go to war with the military you have. Oh. But as Patton said, we are supposed to have the best military in the world. The best fed. The best ammo. Is Rumsfeld and his kids over there, you know, uh, out, out, out in the desert? putting their lives on the line and, and not taking a shower for for days probably and are, are they out there uh, no they're, they're, they're eating filet mignon and rock lobster tail man they're they're in comfort in the comfort of their mansions Rumsfeld and Cheney and Wolfowitz and these guys had a hand in writing the project for the new American century the, where America shall be the strongest military power in the world and we will knock off those seven Arab countries. Did, oh, by the way, did they go to Vietnam? Rumsfeld no, and, and Cheney? Mr. Cheney had a bunch of deferments. It wasn't something he had planned to do. Sorry to say. Okay. Okay. He was in a country club. He, he hung out in a country club. That was in his plans, but not going yeah. to Vietnam. And Mr. G. W. Bush, he just didn't go to so all the his uh, National Guard meetings. So all the poor kids get to go to war. Of course. Hey, we'll give you forty thousand dollars for school. Sign here, kid. You just have to be lucky enough not to come back in a body bag. And then you can go, and then you can... Actually, they want you to come back in their body bag, so they, so don't, they don't have to pay the vet and, you know, bills and all that. So they, they, they don't have to pay, yeah. yeah. Cheaper to die on the battlefield for them. Yeah. Well, anyway, let's sink our teeth back into these readings. I, I lost my shoe! I lost my shoe! I went Brodus at somebody! Well, your shoe, your, your jaw doesn't, is not connected to your foot. You never know. The foot bone connected to the jaw bone. <laughs> yeah, well, there, there should have a lot of bones with Miley Cyrus's uh, oh. twerking. Oh. But her, her, uh, her, but her ass is very. Anybody on YouTube shaped very strangely. Anybody on YouTube have the URL for that particular uh, 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 video? Please send it to us. You know, I want to see it. I have a feeling that what's on YouTube are probably clips here and there of the event. I mean... Well, they might have the whole thing on there. Who knows? I mean, that would be the that would be the smart thing to do is just to put the whole thing on. But a lot of times, you don't see that on YouTube. You just see clips. Who the hell wants to see five I minutes saw, here or ten minutes there? I saw Flying Grover the other day. What's Flying Grover? Grover from Sesame Street. Oh, that ridiculous <laughs> dust he's collector. He's a superhero. Get the hell out of here. You see, you see the crap 18 that... 18 inches tall. And you watch that? You fly him. Somebody sent it to me. I had to respect. Why? And, f and see it. Why do you have to respect it? Well, the person I have to respect that I said, yeah, I saw it. Do you see, do you see what people do in their spare time in America? Everything... Unfortunately, that was not my third time. Superficial crap, ridiculous yeah. nonsense, and, and 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 they don't even watch things that educate their mind or make them aware of what's going on in the world. They watch Flying Grover, <coughs> numbskulls. Americans are such numbskulls. Bottles of Tylenol, acetaminophen. Sold in the United States will soon bear red warnings alerting users to the potentially fatal risks of taking too much. All drugs have negative side effects. A, pop, a popular pain reliever. The unusual step disclosed by the manufacturer Johnson & Johnson comes amid a number of lawsuits. Mm -hmm and pressure from the federal government that 
could have widespread ramifications for medicine taken by millions of people every day. Well, yeah. Johnson & Johnson, based in New Brunswick, New Jersey, said the warning would appear on the cap of each new bottle cap. of extra strength Tylenol. How are they supposed to read font that small? There's a picture right here. It says, contains acetaminophen. Always read the label. They all have negative side effects. Every drug has negative side effects. Every one. And they don't, and they're not 100%. I took, hey, I felt real stiff and sore. My neck was real sore yesterday from my workout. I took an, an Aleve, which is pretty strong, uh, um, Nuproxen. I still woke up with a stiff neck. I mean, they're not 100%. Plus, you have negative side effects. Some of them a long list of terrible side effects. And one of those side effects is death. Well, I, 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 the last side effect... Liver damage. With acetaminophen. Yes. And bleeding, like aspirin, uh, intestinal bleeding. Well, liver, liver damage is, is a serious side effect. You know, even though, you know, the liver does regenerate. I think it's the only organ that regenerates, is the liver. Unless you have a salamander tail. Is that a certain disease of the liver? A salamander no. tail? Salamander tail can regenerate, no? Do you mean amphibians? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes, um, amphibians, uh, 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 invertebrates can regenerate, like limbs and things like that, but, but not all species can regenerate the limb perfectly like the original. Sometimes they grow back but not the same, and sometimes they, they can, so. Starting in October, extra strength Tylenol bottles will have warnings on their caps. The warning will make it explicitly clear that the over-the-counter drug contains acetaminophen, a pain relief ingredient that is the nation's leading cause of sudden liver failure. Well, you're not supposed to uh, abuse it. You know, you're supposed to like if you take. There's nobody it, saying it's coming from abusing it. It's, they say it's coming. It's from coming taking from it. using it. Using it. Using it. The new cap is designed to get the attention of people who don't read warnings that appear on the product's label. We're always looking for ways to better communicate information to patients and consumers, said Dr. Edwin Kuffner, Vice President of McNeil Consumer Healthcare of the Johnson & Johnson unit that makes Tylenol. Overdoses from acetaminophen send 55 to 80,000 people to emergency rooms in the United States every year. You hear that? To the emergency room. And this is Tylenol. And kill at least 500 a year. That's a lot. No kidding. And it's still on the market. They're just going to put a warning on. In other words, it Tylenol makes that much money for the company that the FDA the FDA who is supposed to be really strict about what they allow for some reason is not touching a set of medicine. According to the Centers for De Disease Control and Prevention and the FDA Acetaminophen can be found in more than 600 common over-the-counter products used by nearly a quarter of American adults every week, including brands like NyQuil, Excedrin, Sudafed,
Tylenol wanted to be the first of these products to place such a warning label on its bottle caps. Nancy Palamara, Director of Pharmacy Services at Holy Name Medical Center in Teaneck, New Jersey, said she would like to see a contains acetaminophen warning on every retail product that contains it, not just Tylenol. Do they, do they have to sit back and watch all these victims every year? I mean, I mean to, to, to think about putting a warning label? I mean, it, it should be recalled. Or making a different product, a better product. 500 people dying per year from a set of medicine? From Why? a painkiller. Why are you continuing to sell it over well, the look counter? Look how many people died from Vioxx. You know, what about the uh, an alternative like ibuprofen, which is Advil? You know. What about cinnamon? What about curcumin? What about buswellia? What about cat's claw? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Those are pain relievers too. Bromelanes. Right, could be an anti-inflammatory. Yeah, well, you're right. You're right. Turmeric, turmeric is is one of the most powerful uh, anti-inflammatory. Also, turmeric has been found to work just as good, if not better, than 16 known drugs. Mm -hmm. Turmeric is powerful stuff. It's curcumin. It's in turmeric. Because it's an over-the-counter product, people tend to take it more freely. without being aware of the damage it can cause to the liver. This move comes at a critical time for Johnson & Johnson, which faces more than 85 personal injury losses. Hmm. Johnson & Johnson does not report sales of Tylenol, but total sales of all over-the-counter medicines containing Acetaminophen were more than 1.75 billion dollars last year. Last time I heard about lawsuits like this, it was a uh, drug company Merck with the with the statin drugs, right? Was, was that Viox? Statin? statin drugs? No way. They're still on the market. What are you talking about, statin? No, there was a there was a problem with with Viox. Viox was made by made by Merck, right? I don't know who it was made by. But it killed it, over 60,000 people. Yeah, I, I, I think it is Merck. I think that was the lawsuit. Yeah, Merck Pharmaceutical. Also in New Jersey. Might have been Lily. Who knows? Lily Munster? Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. All we know is it shouldn't be All happening. I know is New Jersey sure has a lot of wicked companies in its ear. Kind of goes with the governor. Old balloon boy. Safety experts are most concerned about the extra strength versions and other pain relievers with acetaminophen. A typical two pill dose of extra strength Tylenol contains 1,000 milligrams of acetaminophen compared to 650 milligrams for regular strength. Extra strength Tylenol is so popular that some pharmacies don't even stock regular strength. Most experts agree that acetaminophen is safe when used as directed, which generally means taking less than 4,000 milligrams or 8 extra strain Tylenol a day. Each year some 100 million Americans use acetaminophen, but liver damage occurs in only a fraction of 1% of users. Still, liver specialists say those cases are preventable. They say that part of the problem is that there are sometimes hundreds of pills in a bottle, making it easy for consumers to pop as many as they please. For example, McNeil sells extra strength Tylenol in bottles containing up to 325 tablets. 
The argument goes that if you take a seat a minute from correctly, you will never get into trouble. Ah, uh, really? Yeah. When taken as directed, when people read and follow the label, I believe that Tylenol and the acetaminophen ingredient is one of the safest pain relievers on the market. Sure it is. Real safe. Huh. Any juicy political articles in there? I don't know. I read them as they are piled. Oh. I do not screen them. The luck of the draw. That's correct. That's correct. Pantago, Texas. A swarm of 30,000 bees attacked a North Texas couple as they exercised their ponies, stinging the animals so many times that they died. Yeah, how did they know it was 30,000 of them? They were probably Africanized uh, They had a guy, bees. one, two, three, four, five. They attacked, they were probably the Africanized bees. Because I, I know they made it into the United States, but only in the the far southern states. Because they, 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 they can't take the cold, which is a good thing. Kristen Beauregard was stung with about 200 times. It's a lot of apis. And her boyfriend about 50 times. But the ponies, Chip and Trump, were so covered in bees they shimmered and neither could be saved. They were chasing us down. They were following us, Beauregard said. We swept up piles and piles of them. It was like a bad movie. Gee, I wonder if, if the hive was not in danger, I wonder why the bees, the Africanized bees do this since the bees die when they sting. It's not like a hornet that could sting you over and over again, you know, or a scorpion. But I mean, uh, the bees, they literally die. So I wonder what their motive is, unless the bees. Just, are being tested to see whether they are Africanized or killer bees. Well, that is the killer bee, the Africanized bee. It is unclear what prompted them to leave their hive. Beauregard was exercising Trump when he started to jump and kick. That was when a cloud of bees started stinging. Trying to escape, he jumped in a pool and the horse followed. It all got dark, like it was nighttime. There were so many bees. Wow. We were trying to stand up in the water, but every time we stuck our heads out for air, they would cover us and start stinging us. We were trying to breathe. Wow. And they were stinging us in the face and on the nose. She escaped into her house. Rel relentless. Beauregard's boyfriend called 911. And the firefighters arrived with special gear and used a foam substance to clear the bees. I hope they tracked down the hive and tested these bees. I mean, uh, you know how it all started. This, uh, this uh, greedy uh, beekeeper in Brazil heard that the Africanized bees, the African bees, produce more honey. So he brought them over to South America because he wasn't happy with the amount of honey he was producing. And this experiment backfired. And uh, now that's how they, these bees came over. Speaking of honey. I'd agree. Yeah. One third of all commercialized honey is diluted with corn syrup. Uh, high fructose uh, corn syrup. 
and 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 33 percent of organic honey is not pure organic honey it is also diluted and guess what the the diluted ingredients is not on the label of the jar of honey we're talking about your supermarket brand honey not if you go right to the apiary and buy it fresh I'm talking about supermarket honey and it's not on the label nice and I cannot overemphasize and that. I wonder why that is could it have something to do with that magical word deregulation well deregulation it sounds like a too mild of a term they're they're allowing businesses to cheat you to cheat you I, uh, wasn't that why the FDA was came about to prevent you know uh, the, the snake yeah, oils right, salesmen right. and stuff yeah. well, what do they do today they go after the alternative doctors they bought off the FDA vitamin uh, sellers because the they sellers. know that it's proven they don't won't admit it but they know that nutritional supplementation and vitamin and nutritional therapy is much more effective it has a much higher success rate than with patented drugs and they know it deep down they know it and they they don't want to uh, give up their racket well yeah because the markup on drugs is is phenomenal 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 phenomenal, phenomenal yes okay. despicable uh, astronomical whatever word you want to use exactly. Hey, same thing with fine jewelry. Did you know, I know that everything. there are so there were so many there were so much uh, diamonds in the raw in South Africa. There, are, the, the amount is so massive that the the De Beers Diamond Company, mining company, deliberately holds back on the export of these diamonds because the truth is diamonds are not any longer a precious gem because preciousness is supposed to equate with scarcity. Yes, the more they allow on the market, the cheaper the price. Right, so which means in reality, God forbid. the diamond is so plentiful that it is not technically a precious gem, but they... It's not an engendered species. Right, right. You said engendered? Engendered. Oh, engendered. I, I, oh, engendered. Yeah. Endangered. Engendered. Endangered. Endangered. Where the hell did I come up with that? I thought you said engendered as in Endangered. He mispronounced the word. Oh, God. I always find it funny when people mispronounce words. Oh, God. You know, uh, can create. He, pronounced, he mispronounces a lot of words. Oh, God. It's so funny, man. Oh, God. Anyway. Irregardless. Irregardless. Uh, I, I regress. <laughs> I regress. That's what Taz says on the <laughs> TNA wrestling. <laughs> I regress. Uh, yes, the, the, that makes the diamond technically not a precious gem because they deliberately hold back on the exportation of the, the true amount of diamonds that are found in South Africa. And I wonder if the South African government is getting a fair... Get back. A fair... Uh, uh, Maybe, but the private uh, uh, De Beers probably owns everything. Yes, including the gold mines. The gold and the land, the whole right. bit. Yeah. So, getting back to my point in bringing up the De Beers story, uh, the markup on fine jewelry is a total ripoff. It's astronomical. Like, so when you see a commercial for uh, Jared say, talking about, oh, Jared. diamond is forever, oh, how beautiful. Oh, he bought you a, oh, he must have went to Jared to get your engagement ring. And all the girls are clustering around their girlfriend and they go, oh, let me see, let me see. Oh, what a gorgeous Ooh. rock. And the poor sucker paid like, let's say he paid five grand Ooh. for that, for that rock. That rock is not worth anywhere near $5,000. It's re like the car when you take reality. it out of the showroom. Right. It's like automobiles. Yeah. Down in price by a third. Whatever. Rip off. Another rip off. Oh, car dealers? Sleazy as all hell. Sleazy as all hell. Uh, 
furniture dealers are not innocent bystanders either. Furniture stores. It's like the worst of retail is what I'm trying to say. The worst that retail can offer. And uh, oh, by the way, speaking of McDonald's, you know what a small percentage of that Big Mac hamburger is actually beef? And what's with these commercials I'm seeing? A hundred percent Angus. Black Angus. Black Angus burger or something or whatever the hell it is. Once something is ground up, there's no way of telling if it's a hundred percent Angus <laughs> or where it came from. Or what's in it. Yeah, maybe it was a, maybe it was a, 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 a um, some, a roadkill, you know, maybe it was a, well, you know, it could be roadkill. You don't know. As far as animal feed is concerned, it's, it's like the four D's, which I forgot the last D. Dead, dying, and disease. These can go into cat food and dog food. Well, China does it. Mainland China well, does it. We that. do it too. That's my point. If it's a carcass, if it's sick, if it's on its way out, or if it's already dead, doesn't that, all, it up, baby. doesn't that all become part of the, the words meat byproducts? Slime, Pate. Pate, pink baby. slime that is the popular term nowadays. Yeah. Pink slime is mystery meat. <laughs> mystery meat with ammonia in it that's supposed to kind of sterilize it for you. But you end up ingesting the ammonia. That's what's in the processed meats yeah. that you, you find in supermarkets. The, one of the most clever health banners I ever saw on the internet was if if this food is advertised on television, do not eat it. Sounds good advice. Real healthy food is never advertised on TV. Anyway, continue. Scientists have found a compelling clue in the quest to learn what causes age-related memory problems. Okay and to one day be able to tell if those misplaced key car keys are just a senior moment or an early warning of something worse. And all or it could be you have so many things going through your mind, you know, I mean, it doesn't have to be dementia. Wednesday's report offers evidence that age-related memory loss really is a distinct condition from pre-Alzheimer's and offers a hint that we now consider the normal forgetful <coughs> forgetfulness of old age might actually be treatable. What about young people that are walking around going die, die, die? Researchers at Columbia University Medical Center examined brains, young and old ones. Mm -hmm. I wonder if they examined Donovan. I think people should be supplementing with uh, high uh, high EFA omega-3 fish oil to, to nourish the brain. These brains were donated 